Alright, sorry about that, guys. Oh god, gracious. Um, Jaspar, I could use some help. Please? I can't even see them, that's a problem. Oh god gracious. Um can I charge my staff? Do I have something to charge it with? Yes I do. Good. Lucky hit. Like the bite of a flea. I don't think I'm healing too much. God gracious, I can't see them. Yes, I know my health is low. Thank you very much for telling me that. A few moments later. Oh, there you are. No, that's not all I got. Um, dude, you gotta get up and help. He was at first, like, so very good. And then suddenly he started not being so good. There's one more left. Oh, I can't see him. Ah. I think he's stuck. Good. This was not... like, it was really hard for me to see where everybody was, so it was, like, not very good. Oh, I can sleep! Yay! And I can see what I'm going, what I'm doing. Ugh, I should have slept at the, at the inn. Not the best judgment to travel at night. I should know better. That traveling at night is never a good idea. Geographical overview. I'll take that. At my own peril of getting overweight again. Oh. I I I kind of dislike the fact that in order to level anything you have to read books like study the learning books and whatnot. I prefer the Skyrim system in terms of you doing using a skill getting better at it um, rather than using like skill points to progress per se. All right, sorry about that. Um. There's sometimes noises in the house and the dog starts barking. As I was saying, um, something I don't like about Fallout 4 for the skill system uh, is that, like, uh, lock picking. You have to pick up a uh, sk lock uh, skill in order to be able to unlock uh, higher tiers of locks, for example. I always thought it was rather silly. Because, like, you would get better by doing... Not by just, you know, obtaining an arbitrary skill point. Let's not get distracted! Oh, it's just a bird. Hey, chicken. I think the chicken is following us. It's a spy chicken. I see a chest. Eager to explore, aren't you? Take your time. Uh, not really. If you consider exploring, just going two meters off the path. Oh, wait. Yeah, you I can use a break. waiting is all you do, my pal. All right. Arc this way. Ark is like far away. Or 
at least a decent um, distance. Great. Whoop. Get it, you guys. Rabbit fox. Rabid fox is what I meant to say. Not rabbit. You guys deal with it. Yep. More and the more I explore this world, the more it gives me the vibe of um uh Witcher 3 Blood and Wine expansion. Kind of a fantasy land with bright green colors of grass and all that. I don't know. But the sun seemed a little bit more um flat in certain areas, but uh overall Seems like, um, it well, reminds me a lot. Uh, it comes a point when you just have to live with it. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> Talk about a weird just comment out of nowhere. Ahoy. Ahoy. Majestic, isn't it? It is majestic. Um, I hope that thing, that the balcony over there is not going to fall yes. off. Enderal and Skyrim share something in common. They like to build dangerously. <laughs> this is a nice um, art. I like this. Hello. So we're finally in the Ark, guys. Yes. Look at this. Neat. Yes. It's like Solitude 2.0. Westgate. Ooh, and we level! Nice! Um, I could use a more mana. Uh, can we... Um, uh, I need to meditate? Yes. I hit myself on the forehead and I go meditate. Um, Dispar will wait for you. I sure freaking hope so. So, I was told that I can only use Fast Malice um, ch table if I um, put the points in the system. So, I said that I will look into all these skills and uh, see if I want to actually do that. So, I'm going to cut it in the editing process. But um, I'm gonna read all the skills and see if I actually want to do this. Okay, so um, I looked through the skills and it seems like an interesting uh, skill tree to do just because it does enchanting. It's kind of intertwined with enchanting and I think it would be nice down the line. However, this is something I don't like, that it increases the base fever. Uh, when using apparitions. So, if I don't use apparitions, my fever will not increase. If I understand this correctly. So, I might actually um, put in some some of the skills. Uh, cause Arcane Smith and Soul Smith Apprentice. This is something that uh, Arcane Smith and Disassembling is what I'm interested in. Um, I do like the um, the enchanting section of it. So uh, let me know if uh, just for enchanting, if it's worth dedicating points into it. I will read up a little bit more on it as I go, um, but for now, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it be. And here we are. Welcome to Ark. I've got some things to take care of here. So let's meet at the market once you're ready to meet Grandmaster Teobor Renthiel and his mages in person, all right? Uh, former Grandmaster, I thought it was, he was imprisoned in Nilarum. Could you tell me a little more about the city? Or can I find some new gear, for example? Oh, sure, I should have thought of that. Pardon me. All right, then. Ark is divided into five districts, not counting the harbor. The far quarter, where we are right now, the marketplace, the nobles' quarters, the south quarter, and the temple. 
If you're looking to gear up, I guess the market would be the place to go. You can find anything there, from food to weapons, armor, and whatever else you need. If it's magical supplies and alchemy you need, however, you'd best try your luck in the nobles' quarters. But prepare yourself for some dismissive looks. But there's also the bathing house and the theater, in case you have a coin for that. Finally, there's the temple, which is hard to overlook. Normal citizens are not permitted to enter it. And from up there, the Holy Order reigns over this country. But if all goes according to plan, you'll soon see it from the inside. And then there's the Undercity. Mm, the Undercity? Is it the same one where Sylvanas dwells? <laughs> doesn't sound too inviting. Yeah, it doesn't. And it isn't. The Undercity is a cluster of caves directly beneath our feet. And down there is where the poor and the sick live. Not to mention those that the Order doesn't like to see in their neat, pretty streets in the upper city. Not a place I'd recommend you visit. At least not unless you're looking for mischievous things. Alright. Well, I thought that whoever you mentioned is... He was imprisoned. How do I know this? Was this mentioned? And I missed it? Or is it from the previous uh, installments of the series that I just don't know about it? I personally, as a per like, as a player. By his own son, Nerazul, yeah. But roughly two and a half years ago, he suddenly appeared back in Enderal, accompanied by a handful of mages who once fought against him in the Great War. Weird, I know, but that's how it was. So let me get this straight. The Lightborn's most trusted servant returns to Enderil together with the former Arch enemies? <laughs> he did, yeah. Arch enemies? It seems that something happened between him and them that made them sort out their issues, you could say. They're allies now. And frankly, nobody quite knows why. You can imagine what kind of uproar that caused among the Holy Order itself. But in the end, Renthiel got things his way. You can say what you want about him, but he never lost his charisma, that's for sure. Okay. I'll pretend I know what he's talking about. <laughs> so that means the Lightborn's most vicious enemies now work together with the Lightborn's most faithful servants. That's so bizarre. You're telling me. But apparently their alliance has something to do with this red madness. I guess we'll see what happens. Hmm, it would make sense. Alright, I'll find uh, my way around. Great. Then see you later and enjoy your stay. Thanks. Alright. Guys, we made it. We made it. Within Ark, you may also use the signpost to travel back and forth between different districts. To do so, just walk out of the signpost and interact with it. Cool. Hello. Hi, little girl. Mimi. Um, we'll explore Ark in the next episode, as well as, you know, gear up and see what else is here to see. I will avoid Undercity for now. It doesn't sound too uh, safe. So, um, yeah. I will see you in the next episode, guys, where we will explore every nook and cranny of this place. Thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe uh, if you haven't already. Uh, comment if you uh, want to leave some uh, constructive feedback, uh, maybe something I missed. It's highly possible. I couldn't see half the way where I was going. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.